Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you the 12th game of 1891 World Chess Championship match where Hungarian chess player Isidor Gunsberg simply crushes the reigning World Chess Champion Wilhelm Steinitz. But before starting our game, make sure that you are subscribed in order not to miss my future uploads. So in this game, Gunsberg had white pieces and he opened up with e4. Steinitz responded with e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, we have the Italian game and after bishop c5, we have this hyper aggressive Evans gambit. Good old times where an opening like Evans gambit could be seen at the World Championship match. By sacrificing a pawn, White is gaining lead in development and also is getting nice attacking chances. Here we have castling kingside and a dubious move by Steinitz, queen f6. Well, according to modern theory in here, the best moves are considered to be d6 or knight f6, but in our game we have queen f6. I have to tell you that before the match, the following conversation took place between two players. Steinitz asked, do you think I am morally obliged to play the same defense I played against Chigorin? And Gunsberg's answer was this, you are not obliged, but the public expects you to defend your principles. So probably by going for queen f6, Steinitz is defending his principles, but I have to repeat again guys that this is a dubious move and is allowing white to gain advantage. Gunsberg played d4 and a terrible move by Steinitz knight h6. For example, in the above mentioned match which was played two years earlier in 1889 between Chigorin and Steinitz, Steinitz was choosing knight g7 but it's better first to play h6 preventing bishop g5 and only then go for knight g7. For example, this is one of the games from that match where white totally dominated the position, although Steinitz was black managed to fight back and even won the game. Although I have to tell you that this line with knight g7 Steinitz played extensively during that match. But let's go back to our main game. So in our main game after d4 we have knight h6 and bishop g5 white is developing his queenside bishop with the tempo and then is harassing black knight. Knight d8, here comes queen a4, this time harassing the dark squared bishop and then knight a3 is on the board. At some point white wants to play knight b5, c6 by Steinitz, bishop e2, now wants to play knight c4. But if you play a move like c takes d5, then knight b5 will follow and then rook a d1. If d takes e4, then knight d6 can follow or even knight d2 is playable, white's position is totally winning, but in our game after bishop e2 we have bishop c7, here comes knight c4 and queen f8, look at this miserable position guys, I just can't understand how could Steinitz play the opening in such a terrible way. d6, meanwhile we have a pawn sacrifice with which white is luring away black's dark squared bishop and is harassing black rook, rook b8, queen takes a7. Knight g4, knight h4 attacking the knight, knight e6, bishop takes g4, knight takes g5, and knight f5, knight e6, and this time the rook is joining the attack. Something which black can't do. How is black going to bring into the game his rooks? The game is over, and the game was over long time ago. And then we have knight a8. White wants to remove the defender and win this rook. All Steinitz could do was to give up the exchange and then protected the bishop on c8. But these are hopeless attempts, you know, as we have reached the critical position. Please pause the video and try to find the winning move for white. Ready? In here, Gunsberg went for a rook sacrifice and he captured on d7. With this move he broke into pieces black's defense and the game is over. After rook d1 check we have a resignation. If knight d4 then simply c takes d4. And now again white wants to open up the d file. For example if e takes d4 then this time knight takes d4. Discover check can follow and it's over. 
this is an easy win. That's why after rook d1 check, we have a resignation. This is it, dear chess lovers. The 12th game turned to be catastrophic for Steinitz and Gunsberg managed to win very quickly. In the end, a chess puzzle for you where the task is to find the mating line for white. It's white to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Good luck!